Yes, yeah, so guys, thanks again for joining me on another Garrick's Adventures. On today's adventure, I take you guys out into the Pacific Ocean. We're offshore of the coast of the Big Island, Hawaii. In today's video, I take you guys out and we go out deep sea fishing, doing a bit of small commercial fishing. The small commercial fishing industry is a great way for local people in Hawaii to get fresh island fish. Rather than getting fish from international waters, a small group of small commercial fishermen braved the waters of Hawaii in hopes of filling their boats and providing fresh fish for the island of Hawaii. Well, I'd like to thank you guys again for joining me on another Garrick's Adventures, and let's get to the show. Chee-hoo! All right! All right, guys, so... Uh, this is the start before our trip. Give it a go. Trying to catch some bait. We get maybe like six or seven in there. Hopefully, uh, we can get a little more or a lot more. Oh, there it is, guys. Hanapa, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the one. Yeah, you see that pole? Pole is dancing. Oh, might I just keep? Oh no, it's still on there. It's still on there. Come on, nice and easy. There we go, right in the boat, baby. Yeehaw! All right. We trade that one in for another eye. We trade you in for a little ahi guy. Eee. Beautiful. Boik. Boik. All right. Yes, uh, come on, load up. Yeah, Poe is bending, baby. Woo. Come on. Come to the surface. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, some big guy. Ah, the sucker just should poke my hand. Look at that baby. Yes, a big boy. Oh girl. Whichever. We need about 50 more of those. Come on. Come say hello. Oh, there it is, there it is, yeah. Come on. Load up. Load up. Oh man, some scrappers. Ooh, little baby eyes over here. We're gonna trade little babies for the big boys. Come on. Yes. Oh, I lost one.
Come on. Where's the bite? Where's the bite? There's the bite. No motorbike. Yes, uh, all right. Well, whew, just got up. Oh, yeah. As it brought us, get our light beats ready. Oh. Jason is suiting up for work. How's it going guys? Oh, it's got up. I'm gonna put the bed away and um, time to get to work, so all on. Something. All right. Get some fish out of here. Some fish, brother. Coming in. gone you need help down there or you got that oh right there coming up oh whoop. mahi mahi 
Neutral. Oh, if this thing is on I, this is a mixed bag troll. <laughs> definitely is straight down so that's usually a good sign and that color looks like a good sign One violent freaking tuna right there. Yee! First dog down, baby. Hanapa po is bending. Yes, sir. All right. First doggy dog. They want that thing. Cast <laughs> off. Yeah, going shark right here. God damn it. down deep
leader. Big eyes look like some big eyes, but medium sized kind. Oh, we're done. Yeah. Gloves. Holy shit. Another glove, right side. Big suckers. Oh, come on, boy. I don't know if we should try. What do you think? Dangle? Or do you think they're going to dangle? This is the point where it starts getting crazy and what a lot of fishermen look forward to when the bite turns on and the fishing becomes amazing. Never know how long these bites are gonna last so you need to take advantage of them when they come. Chew!
So we found this floating net and this net had another fish trapped inside of it. So after jumping in, my buddy Jason 
freed the fish from the net. Hoping thereafter we get blessed with some fish. It's a pretty amazing sight being out here in the deep blue water with no bottom in sight. You can feel a little eerie at times, but at the same time, calm me down with such a serene view.
pretty good. You probably got a gas at the hook. Sometimes the fish just don't want to bite and you just got to jump in and get them with the spear gun. A lot of the times we see the fish swimming around and they don't want to bite the bait and hook. So spear fishing is a good option because there's no bycatch and you can be selective with the fish that you want to harvest. Cheer hoo! Alright, back to the show. A lot of times the battles are a lot longer. I sped this video up. Even with a good shot, sometimes you want to play the fish out, get them a little bit more tired before you get in closer to retrieve your catch. So while Jason was in the water trying to spear some mais, I had a goal of trying to get a good sized mai with the bow fishing reel. While waiting for Jason to bring his mai that he speared back to the boat, I threw some chum and a mai came in ready to eat. Yes so guys, got him with the bow fishing reel. Want to get him in the boat. As I was slowly pulling my mai in, it popped off. I was bummed and the mai swam right past Jason. It's been a goal of mine to get a mai with a bow and I guess today is not going to be the day. No!
That sucks, guys. Oh, that was a big mile too. Alright guys, this is the end of this show, but there's a lot more where that came from. I've been busy getting out, fishing and hunting, so I got a lot of footage that I need to get through and edit, along with me making my new Yes Allures. I'm always looking for feedback on way to make my videos better, and see what you guys want to see on the next up and coming videos. The next up and coming videos are going to be from my mainland hunts where I go to four different states and try and see if I can harvest all my tags. Stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss these up and coming shows as they are action packed. And hey guys, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. And please hit that subscribe button people. Chee hoo! Alright. Mahalos for watching guys. Aloha.